Performing Immersion Biometry with the LXI Cubed Performing Immersion Biometry with the LXI Cubed is easy, fast and accurate. The first step is to assemble the Immersion Biometry Kit, which will contain the following. Topical Anaesthetic The specially designed cone immersion shell, supplied with the i -cubed, A screw top bottle of Balanced Salt Solution, or BSS and tissues to catch the BSS at the end of the examination. You will then prepare the iCube system to perform biometry by clicking on the appropriate eye to be measured, right eye or left eye, and clicking on the pictogram. Then select the examination technique. Immersion 1 is suitable for normal length eyes, and Immersion 2 for shorter eyes. In manual freeze mode, the operator decides which images to freeze. In Auto Acquisition mode, the system will automatically freeze up to five images that it recognises as corresponding to the correct echo pattern. Choose Normal mode and only revert to Expert mode if it is impossible to obtain a correct reading in Normal mode, for example, patients who do not cooperate or patients with staphyloma. The correct echo pattern will correspond to the chosen eye type, phakic, aphakic or pseudophakic, which will each have different valid edges or echo spikes. In this example, the patient is phakic. The system is looking for C, the corneal spike with its two peaks corresponding to the anterior and posterior corneal surfaces, then A or anterior lens spike, then P or posterior lens spike, then R or retinal spike, and lastly S or scleral spike. The plus sign will be present between the P and R, showing that the retinal echo is sharply rising and that the sound beam is perpendicular to the retinal surface. The operator should observe these letters. If any of them appear in lower case, the corresponding echo spike does not fill the recognition criteria of the system. Place a couple of drops of anaesthetic on the patient's eye. Remove the small plastic stopper at the end of the tubing on the immersion shell and connect the tubing to the BSS bottle. Place the probe in the shell, ensuring that the fixation light is on. Place the flanged end of the shell on the patient's eye, so that the eyelids hold the shell in place. Gently squeeze the BSS bottle so that the shell fills with BSS and an echogram appears on the screen. In manual mode, it is possible to observe the image on the screen as you adjust the angle of the probe and ask the patient to look into the fixation light. A fixation target placed on the ceiling can help direct the patient's gaze. Adjust the gain so that the echo spikes reach the top of the screen but are not saturated. You can observe on the screen that the markers or calipers are positioned just before the rising edges. And all the letters are in uppercase, so all the freeze and measure criteria are correct. At this point, the operator can decide to store the picture using the keyboard or the foot switch, replay the movie, and choose up to five images to be used for the IOL calculation. In automatic freeze, the system automatically freezes five pictures which meet the correct criteria. It is recommended that you always check the images that are frozen automatically to ensure that the correct echo pattern is displayed and the markers are positioned before the correct echo spikes. The chosen images can then be used for the IOL calculations. It is recommended to always measure the fellow eye in order to compare the measurement 
which should be within 0.3 millimetres. For further information, please refer to the iCubed instruction manual available under the Help tab on the iCube system. Or visit the LX website at www.lx.com.